everyone. Sorry I've been away for too long, but I'm back today. Today we're gonna make a special soy sauce by Chef Baek Jung Won. Next week we're gonna do a lot of side dishes that use this soy sauce. So I want to show you how we do that today. When this uh, Baek Jung Won soy sauce was aired on TV in Korea, so many ajumas, all the mothers, apparently tried this soy sauce and was a huge hit. So we're gonna try it! Boom boom! <laughs> So we're gonna start by dicing some pork. If you have beef, you can use beef as well. So we have the minced pork, soy sauce, and brown sugar, and that's all you need. And we're gonna start cooking the sauce. So we need two cups of soy sauce. One. And notice I don't have the heat on yet. Two. Actually, this may seem a lot, but remember that you're gonna use this soy sauce for the next two to three weeks. So this is gonna be all stored for your future dishes. Add a, a full cup of this minced pork in. Okay, that looks about right. One full cup. Okay, I don't want this all splashing all over, so gonna be careful. Okay, one third cup of brown sugar in. Before you heat up the frying pan, mix the sugar and the meat well together with the soy sauce. Bring it up to a medium heat. Keep stirring until it comes to a boil. Since it's boiling, we're gonna let it boil for five more minutes. We're gonna make chapche, which are glass noodles, bean sprout stir fry, cabbage stir fry, and many more. We're gonna turn off the heating now. Okay, so I'm just gonna skim off the top of the soy sauce just to get rid of this uh, fatty. So you can either store this in a glass container or a plastic Tupperware. Magical soy sauce done! And stay tuned for our next series of videos on how we use this soy sauce. And keep it in the refrigerator. Just a little bit, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Very salty!